In China, hundreds of children are discarded and abandoned, left to die, simply because they're born with cleft palates. But one dedicated Canadian physician is trying to make a difference. Ben O'Hara brings you the story tonight of Dr. Joseph Wong, who transforms tragedy into smiles. <laughs> Watching them together, it's hard to imagine Wei Yu Xiang once thought life would be better without him. But she knew Liang Liang's cleft lip and palate meant a lifetime of discrimination, and that she was helpless to alter his fate. When the nurse saw the baby, she told me he had a hair lip. I felt my heart go to pieces. The village I'm from is very small, and the doctor there told us it would be very hard to raise a child like him. I was ready to give him up. At 15, Yu Jianfu knows all too well the future she's describing. He carries the scars from years of stares and snickers, and worst of all, rejection. Often, people don't want to play with me. I wanted to change. I think having the surgery, I can have better relations with people. Now, none of these parents have any kind of medical insurance, and while corrective surgery, if they could find it, would cost about $1,000 Canadian, that's a lot more money than most of them make in a year. So they're stuck in an awful dilemma where they either have to try to spend money they don't have or leave their child stuck with a stigma they'll have to live with for the rest of their lives. But one Canadian doctor has made it his goal to give these kids what their parents can't afford. Dr. Joseph Wong is a Toronto-based plastic surgeon, considered one of the best in his field. He's arrived here this week to donate his time and his talent. A mission inspired years ago when traveling through China, he saw two young women resigned to living with something he knew was simple to fix. That particular moment in my life is a demarcation, and I think that, you know, you know, if I can help these girls, you know, I, I, I fell for them. It was so profound. To me, this is a dream. After clinging to that dream for decades, Dr. Wong started Smile China. He's now helped hundreds of children and found others to share in his passion. Among them, Dr. Khaled Sari of Edmonton. The opportunity to see these kids and hear about their stories and, and see these immediate and dramatic results from, you know, closing these lips, it's such a rewarding experience. Dr. Wong first came to China in 2000 with just two nurses and performed nearly 100 surgeries all by himself. But since then, he's managed to attract several top-notch plastic surgeons from around the world. And so this is just one of four operating theaters in use today. Joe Wong um, and his influence uh, throughout our American Academy of Facial Plastic Surgery and his work through, uh, in his writings and his, his uh, excellent his practice in Toronto you just become, everyone knows him, and he's able to go to these uh, international federation meetings and develop this team. And an increasing number of Chinese doctors are also here to learn not just the skills, but the spirit that drives the project. I think it's my pleasure if one day I can join the Smile China and I can do the things to the poor baby, and I think I, I hope one day I can do something for them. Dr. Wong, for one, would have no trouble passing the torch. I hope one day there's no leave for smile China in China, yeah. because then that would be the day that everybody will live very happily here. Uh, and so maybe I know smile China will move on and do other things in other countries. We fixed the, the lip and we also did a little bit to fix his nose. For now, the true measure of his mission continues to be written on the faces of those he's helping. Can you give me your email? Oh. Okay. I will send you some pictures. From the university students searching for more self-esteem. When I was a child, I still any, any others may say something about my face. I sometimes I feel badly hurt. But As now I feel much confident after the operation. To the mother who thought her daughter would never have a career or a husband. This surgery can change her life. She will become more confident. She will know that she's not abandoned by society and people won't look down on her anymore. With her son still on the operating table, there's no relief for Wei Yuxiang just yet. But when Liang Liang is finally wheeled out of surgery, mother and son are reunited. Hungry and in pain, he's inconsolable, but the surgery has been a success.
and later as he finally slept. The look on his mum's face told you, for the boy named for his bright smile, a better life had already begun. That is the ultimate goal. The one day I wouldn't, nobody would see a 15-year-old teenage girl selling noodles in the street with a club lip. I hope that, that I would never see that again. Oh.